The search is on for this man. His shocked family thinks he may be the victim of a car crash off the Glen Jackson Bridge. That crash happened late Sunday afternoon at about the time Antonio Amaro Lopez would have been driving home from his job in Clark County. Tim Gordon talked to the family today as they wait for answers. We just came down here just to kind of see um, their efforts. We saw some of the boats going uh, towards the island. Antonio Amaro's family and friends gathered along the Columbia River looking for a glimpse of good news. So far, searchers using sonar have found nothing. We're trying not to lose hope. We're trying to keep our faith that, that we were going to be able to find my dad. We just want to find him. Amaro's three daughters and his wife stood close together to tell us about their missing loved one. Antonio works for the family's Amaro's Table Restaurant, which expanded to a second location in Hazeldale. He would have been coming home to Southeast Portland on Valentine's Day, about the time witnesses saw an SUV slide on ice and crash off the Glen Jackson Bridge. Antonio drives a Subaru Tribeca with a maroon paint color like witnesses described seeing hit a snowbank on the side and go over the edge. If that was my dad, like he didn't deserve it. We always pictured my parents growing old together. So it's hard to see my mom and what she's going through. Daughter Abigail spoke the most about her father. Wife Nieves expressed her anguish in Spanish. Era un día especial que iba a venir a la casa. The Amaro family hopes that searchers will keep trying to find the man they love very much. He's a kind, kind soul. He's the best father that anyone could ask for. Potentially facing a tough loss, this family asks that if you see anything on or near the water around the Glen Jackson Bridge, that you call it in. Tim Gordon, KGW News.